Hello, um, this is a picture of the jet cone of a neutron star, mostly. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing throughout. Quite a lot of um, colouring things in purple and colouring the purple things in blue. And then I did a little conda, little conda which has got a bit of an orange paint job on it by the looks of it. I had to lighten the screenshot I was given to copy uh, quite a bit to actually see any detail on the conda, so the conda is quite, uh, quite muted. You're sort of looking down the barrel of the jet cone. Your, your neutron star is that tiny, it's a tiny white point in the center. And uh, and then you've got these these twin poles, these pillars of pillars of like supercharged energy shooting out from the center of the tiny star. And your neutron star, I mean, in the, in the real universe, your, your neutron star is, is, is quite small. It's, it's probably under 10 miles around. It's like you, you'd walk around the surface of a neutron star probably in an afternoon. But obviously the neutron star's got more, much more than the mass of our sun. So they're quite big, really, but also very small <laughs> at the same time. And really enormously dense and uh, the gravity is immense. And in Elite, when you, when you, when you fly at the neutron star, it's, it's so easy to get caught. Uh, I find them less stressful to fly near than white dwarfs because white dwarfs um, in Elite, the dense stars, the dense failed collapsed stars, they um, they all have these uh, little jets coming out of them. You can use this these jets to uh, supercharge your engines, and the jets on a white dwarf are pretty uh, are pretty small, so you have to kind of nudge yourself quite close to the white dwarf. That the the area that you can can sort of hover in between uh, dropping and uh, sufficient energy coming off the star to. Uh, to charge your engines and uh, and it's still safe to hover because the uh, the area is small. You're getting too close to the actual s sphere of the star. Anyway, but yeah, in a neutron star, those jets are much larger, so it's, it's a little safer, if anything. Although they look more terrifying, they look amazing. The first time I saw a neutron star, it was Jackson's Lighthouse, which is within the bubble, the the, the occupied systems. I I just oh, it's beautiful. It waves and it curves and it loops. And these loops here in this picture, um, I kind of maybe this there's a conda here. Maybe this conda is is trapped in the loops, watching his ship being thrown from side to side. And uh, I've seen people escape from them. I've seen videos of people escaping from them, but it's really quite hard, and you have to be quick on repairing your ship and and attempting to get out. It, it's quite a challenge, I think. <laughs> I just assume I'm dead if I get trapped in one. But yeah, when you when you're hovering hovering in the cone and you're you're under control of your ship you you do get thrown from side to side but uh, but you can still to an extent uh, direct your ship and uh, use the power you tend to be facing away from the star <laughs> when you're charging your engines from it it's it's a, it's a wonderful experience and I, I love the buffeting of the spaceship in the in the particles it's it, it's really good and the, if the alerts your spaceship throws up warning you and the noise of the alerts and the, and the noise of the star around you which of course you would get <laughs> it's it's a cool experience and it makes for a nice brightly colored picture because of course you're looking right into a star Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and listening to me uh, giving my valuable information about neutron stars. <laughs> I appreciate it.